Hey there, I'm Heidi Swap, and today I'm going to talk about my new Mink machine. So you've just gotten it in the box, and I want to go over what's in the box and exactly how to get started. So we're just going to pop this open, and you're going to find some fun goodies inside. They're all here in this little, little bag. So let me just show you what you get inside here. All right, this is super important. You need, you're getting a carrier sheet. This is a full-size carrier sheet. This will hold a 12 by 12 paper. So you're gonna wanna keep track of that. I'm gonna set that aside. You're also going to get the Mink user's manual. This will cover a lot of the questions that you might have. There's quite a bit of information in here. So make sure you kind of peruse that before you get started and you can refer to that as you're going along and some, and some questions might arise. All right, we're getting you started with this piece of gold foil. It's a six by 12 piece of foil. And the only thing that I wanna recommend is that when you open it, you're really mindful of this sticky flap, okay? So what I recommend is you open it, you bend it back, you cut it off, whatever you have to do to just make it so it's not gonna stick onto your foil. I'm hearing a lot of people who are struggling with that sticky flap. All right, so just, just saying. All right, you're also going to get three tags in the box. These three tags are just to kind of get you started and give it, you know, a safe little run through. So hang on to those. All right, and then you get this super nice Ziploc bag that you're gonna wanna use for other things. No, just saying, that's one of the sizes that you just can't find at the grocery store. All right, I'm gonna pull this out. It's a little bit heavy, so be careful, don't drop it. Um, comes with these styrofoam bumpers that if your kids break them up and flick it all over, it makes a huge mess. So just, yep, just drop it on the floor and they'll step on it and it will break and all that. All right, so as you can see, this is a brand new mink, super exciting. We're gonna pull it right out of its bag. And over the top, it has like this protective stuff. You need to take it off, okay? The machine actually heats up. It can get decently hot. It's not gonna start your house on fire. And just so you know, after 90 minutes, whether you're using it or not, it shuts off. So that's a safety feature. Okay. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. Now, I recommend that you don't plug it in a plug that also has like your computer running or something like that. It does draw a lot of amps. So you want to make sure that, let's see, I've got a plug right here. All right. Now, we're all plugged in. I'm just going to flip this over here so you can see on the back. On the back here, you have the on and off switch, which is the line in the circle. You also have another switch on the other side. I guess I could, <laughs> I guess I'll hold it so that you can actually see. This is the on and off right there. This is the forward and reverse. That actually moves the rollers on the machine so that if something happens and it gets moving the wrong way, then you can surely stop it. Okay, so I did flip it to on, but nothing is happening, okay? So, uh, we're, I'm getting questions like, I turned it on, it's broken, nothing's happening. All right, you have to actually hit the gold button. That, you, and then you'll immediately hear it. You'll hear the roller start. Um, and then if you heard that little, that little beep, my zero turned to green. Zero means zero heat. No heat is happening, but the rollers are moving. Now, there'll be some other videos where I'll show you why this setting is so awesome. But right now, all you need to know is that's zero heat. Then you'll also see here on the display, one, two, three, four, and five. There's five different levels of heat. So in order to go to those different levels, all you're going to do is push the button. To get back down to zero, just keep pushing the button. It will just take you all the way through those heat settings. Now, I'm gonna put it on heat setting three, which is the most typical setting. Now, that's one of the really amazing things about this machine is that it does have actually six heat settings, if you count zero as one of our heat settings, as 
zero heat. Um, the heat is even and the pressure is even across the whole machine. And that is another thing that differentiates it and makes it really an awesome tool. Okay, now in just a minute, we're gonna see this blinking red light change to green. That's gonna tell us that it's totally heated. It doesn't take very long, maybe a minute or so to get up to heat. While we're waiting for that to happen, I have a couple of the Mink products here that are available that go with the Mink machine. Um, the way the packaging works is that here on the front you will see the pretty pictures of the after look. So you're going to be able to see what you're going to be making with this product if you were to foil it gold and silver. Of course you can foil it any color you choose, but oh, see, do you hear that little bl blinking? I just got the green light, so we're ready to go. All right, now on the back of the package, right here at the top, this is important because you will see that every one of the Mink products has a heat setting. That's, that corresponds to this heat setting on top of the machine. So if you're doing butterflies, if you're doing die cuts, anything that's really basically just paper, that's gonna be the number three heat setting. So the one and the two, this is more for like acetate and transparency, vellum, um, some of those thin, thin materials. When you're getting up to the, the four and the five, this is when you're getting heavier materials, um, thicker materials or whatever. So obviously it gets hotter as we go up to five. Now I'm just starting to smell it. Um, you will notice the first time that you use it, there is a little bit of a, a burning smell. Um, nothing's actually burning. It's just kind of that first time use and you won't notice it after the first couple times you, you use it. Okay, so let me just show you exactly what it takes to get going. You're gonna need basically three things. You're gonna need something to foil, and what I have here, I grabbed some of the 12 by 12 sheets. So with the Mink program, there's actually two different sets of 12 by 12 papers that you can choose from. One is called the Fifth Avenue Collection, and one is the Signature Heidi Collection. And I'm just gonna flip this over and just show you the difference a little bit. The difference here is that the Heidi Signature Collection has a colorful base. So you see these kind of pastel colors. And then the Fifth Avenue Collection is just black and white. So that will be strictly whatever color you foiled it and white. So the foil actually will stick to the black section. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull out a couple papers here and set this aside. Okay, so you're going to need something to foil, and I'm going to do this cool striped 12 by 12 paper, and you're going to need some foil. So the foil comes in these beautiful rolls and you have all of these colors. In total, there are 11 different colors available for the reactive foil. And you've gotta make sure that the foil is reactive, not just any foil will work. And then you have to make sure that your project is either a mink product that is printed with toner reactive ink, or you can print your own on a laser jet printer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Each one of these rolls does have this pesky little um, circular label. And I'm, I purposely left it on here so that you can see that it is a little bit of a pain to remove. And you just kinda have to watch it. Um, just be real careful kind of removing it. Set it aside. Um, and probably this little piece of foil right here, you're gonna want to, you can obviously use on the top and the bottom of it, but I don't recommend sending that little piece of the foil through. Now, one of the things that is really good is to have some really nice, sharp scissors so that you can easily cut the foil. All right, now even though I'm cutting off this piece of the foil because of this little part that's from the seal, I'm still gonna keep this because I can use this for smaller and different projects that I may have. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out. And, oop, 
I'm going to trim my piece of foil so that it's long enough. Then I'm going to open the carrier sheet and stick my paper right in the carrier sheet, making sure that it's, it's evenly in there. All right, then I'm going to add my piece of foil right over the top and just try to make sure that the foil is covering the entire design. And once you close the carrier sheet over it, it will kind of hold it in there. In fact, because this is a brand new carrier sheet, I like to kind of use my fingernail or a bone folder or something to really make sure that this folds nicely. All right, then I'm going to stick this right through my mink machine. It's all heated up and ready to go. I just want to make sure that I'm sending it straight through. Sometimes what will happen is you'll send it through and it will get like a little bit off skew and it will start crashing into one of the sides. That's where that reverse and forward button comes in. Don't yank it out or try to pull it through. You kind of have to patiently let that forward or reverse button do the trick. Now I want you to see it does take a little bit of time. For this process to happen and for the um, the, fuse, the fusion between the foil and the paper to take place, you need a certain amount of heat for a certain amount of time. And so that is why this process is just a little bit slow, because these things take time. So you can see as, as it starts coming through the other side, you will see where you can see where the foil is actually fusing. Now, the carrier sheet that came with your machine can be used over and over and over. And what you'll notice as it goes through the machine several times, it may start to um, wave a little bit. That is not a problem. It's not going to affect your project. Um, the only thing that will cause a problem on your carrier sheet is if you put a project that has, you know, the toner ink through the carrier sheet and the toner is exposed to the carrier sheet and not covered by foil because what will happen is the toner ink will actually transfer right onto the carrier sheet and it won't come off. It, well, it may transfer onto other projects and so that's going to cause a problem. So just make sure that all of the toner area is actually covered either with foil or with something else that's masking off that toner area. Okay, so here we go. This is my very favorite part. Look at that beautiful foil finish. It is so beautiful and so fun. I'm kind of peeling it off really slowly, which you don't have to do. There's no dry time or cooling time or wait time or anything. It's just ready to go immediately when you remove it from, from the carrier sheet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, and I'm going to pull this off, and here is like this piece of the sheet is actually still very, very usable and useful. And like I said, there will be another video where I'll show you all about the negative space or other things that you can do with the leftover foil because this is still reusable. Any of the foil that comes through your machine and hasn't been used can always be sent through with maybe smaller pieces of foil that might be use, you know, used on a different project. All right, so, so keep those in a safe, happy place. All right, so you've got your paper ready to go. That can be used as a background of a scrapbook page, a card. You can cut it into banners. You can run it through your die cut machines, anything you want. This is totally ready to go. It won't scratch off or flake off. It's on there. Okay, you're all checked out. You know how to turn it on. You know all about the heat settings. Get yourself some of the beautiful mink products pick out your very favorite colors. You're probably going to need all 11 of those and you're ready to make pretty stuff.